Shania, Shania. If you're new to this channel, my name is Shania, and on this channel I have loads of sewing tutorials. Some of the tutorials are from things that I've made from scratch, from fabric to finish, and some of the tutorials are of garments that I've upcycled and refashioned. So check it out! <laughs> hey there, it's me, Shania, and I'm back again with another video for you. I'm going to show you how to make this super cute plaid pleated mini skirt and get your life with it. So let's do it. All right, so I am taking my waist measurement like so, like that, and it was, I think, 32 inches. And then I'm taking the measurement from my waist to wherever I want my skirt to end. And you're gonna need to pause the video right here and write down these measurements because I'm gonna be referring to them later on in the video and so you wanna know what the heck I'm talking about when I talk about it. So I'm starting with my fabric and my fabric is folded and it's on the wrong side. I love this fabric, it's so cute. I wanna make some pants with it, but I digress. All right, so I'm taking an L-shaped ruler and I'm drawing a line, a vertical line that is measurement E minus 2.5. And I like to use this ruler because it helps to make a perfect rectangle. Um, and this line and this pattern that I'm making does not include the seam allowance just quite yet. Now I'm drawing a horizontal line that is measurement C times 24. And obviously I have to keep drawing a long line so that I have a final rectangle like this. And then after I have my final rectangle, then I'm going to add a half inch seam allowance all around the pattern and then I'm going to cut it out so that I have two pieces because you need one piece for the front and then one piece for the back. So yeah, and it should look something like this. You have your two pieces, hooray! All right, so then the next thing I did was I searched all along the bottom and the side edges only. If you don't have a serger, then you can use a regular sewing machine and use a zigzag stitch on the shortest length. All right, so I'm starting from my side seam allowance line and I am measuring and marking my measurement C, which for me is two inches. So I'm just making a two inch mark all along my pattern and you're going to repeat this for the other pattern as well and the next thing you want to do is you want to transfer your seam allowance line to the bottom edge so a half inch seam allowance and you want to hem the bottom just by doing a double fold and then you want to iron the fabric so that it lays flatly because you know it got to stay in place in order for you to stitch it you know what i mean so this is what it looks like after you iron it really flat and you should follow me on Instagram and then you're just gonna do a straight stitch to keep that hem in place like so okay so to make the pleats you're going to label all of your marks you're gonna label it one two three one two three one two three then you're gonna take the one marks and stack them on top of the three marks and you're just gonna keep repeating this for every one mark you're gonna crease it and fold it on top so that it lands on the third mark. And you're gonna do that all the way until you have all of your pleats and it should look something like this. I hope I explained that well. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. So then now what you wanna do is you wanna measure and mark four inches and this is where we will kind of stitch the pleats in place and you're just gonna use a straight stitch to do that. And it will look something like this. And there you have it. And I made these marks on the right side of my fabric just because I wanted to see what it was that I was stitching. But then you're going to sandwich these two pleated pieces on top of each other so that they're right sides facing and then you're gonna pin along the side and sew along the side now so before I sewed I was like let me just see if this fits and it didn't fit so I was like all right let me just take out one of the pleats to see if I have a better fit and it still didn't fit so I was like let me take out another pleat and that's what I'm doing right here and then I tried it on and I was like, okay, that's much better. And I just like used some pins to be super sure that it would be okay once I put the zipper in. So to readjust my pleats, I'm taking this 
mark here and I'm folding it and putting it in the middle of the two marks and then I'm pinning it down. Then you wanna straight stitch it down. And then on the other side, I'm taking the third tick mark and I'm folding it so that it's between two and three. And then I'm taking the halfway point between one and two and folding it so that it's halfway between the seam allowance and tick one. Then after that, I wanna measure from my seam allowance line uh, four inches and then make a mark and then just do a straight stitch the way that we did in the previous step. So you might not even need to readjust your pleats, but I just wanted to show you guys what I did in case you do run into that issue. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna just measure the top of your pleated fabrics and then call that measurement F. And then we're going to make the waistband pattern using this little tool here on the screen and you want to make sure that your fabric is folded when you do that and when you unfold your fabric your fabric you're just going to transfer your seam allowance lines inside of the pattern um, and then I am taking my pleated fabric and I'm laying it with the right sides facing up and I'm taking the waistband and sandwiching it on top of the pleats with right sides facing and then I'm just going to straight stitch on the seam allowance line and you just want to be careful when you do that make sure that your pleats are in order and laying flat otherwise they'll look like that um, and now I want to just trim my zipper I'm going to cut that little extra flap of fabric above the zipper off and then you want to take your waistband and fold it in half and then you want to line up the top of your zipper with the fold of the waistband and then you want to make a mark where the silver part of your zipper is and you want to repeat the same thing on the other side so fold the waistband in half and then mark where the silver part of the zipper is you want to close your skirt so that the right sides are facing and then you want up you want to pin along the seam allowance line and you want to stop at that mark we made where the bottom of the zipper is and then you're going to do a straight stitch um, along the seam allowance line stopping at that mark and then after you've done that you're just going to open up the seam allowance and then just fold it and then iron it down flat so that it's easier to connect um, the open flaps to the zipper like so so you're going to take your zipper and then you're going to um, take one side of the open flap and pin it down to one side of the zipper and then you are going to take it to the sewing machine and then you're going to do a straight stitch you should actually use a zipper foot but I couldn't find mine so I'm just using a reg regular foot and it worked just as well so when you're done with that it should look something like this and then you're just going to open your zipper and pin the other side of the zipper to the other side of the fabric pin it down and sew it and it'll look something like this and then what you want to do is you want to fold um, your waistband along the seam allowance line at the top and you want to iron it down so that it's nice and flat and stays in place and then once you've done that you're just going to fold your waistband in half and once you've done that it will be it will encase the zipper and then you're just going to pin along the folded waistband all around and then once you've done pinning you will do a straight stitch along the bottom of where the um, the waistband is and it's called a top stitch just in case you were wondering and then after you've done your straight stitch um, you'll be done with your skirt and one thing I want to say is just make sure that you are sewing on both layers of the waistband so take your time and it'll look something like this honey tell me I'm not serving the gods tell me tell me I'm not if you like this skirt you like how it turned out if you've watched this far I want you to leave a comment saying yes exclamation point and that way I'll know that you watched this far Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. If you like this skirt, you should definitely check out my other tutorial on how to make a plaid skirt with front slits. And also this tutorial for the top that I'm wearing here, which is a sheer um, top inspired by Shein. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Ciao!